Vicon Access Control allows as many users in a system as are needed. All users belong to an access privilege group and either have permission or do not have permission to access a reader and unlock a door. Users also have other characteristics such as a name, special privileges, credentials, etc. To add a user, click on the user's icon in the day-to-day -day section. The user screen displays all previously created users in a list. Click the Add button to create a new user. In the General section, enter the user first and last name. A start on date is required and represents the date the user is activated. The expires on date is optional. The remaining items are special privileges that can be assigned to the user. These include crisis level, selecting the level the user is granted when a crisis mode is initialized, master, supervisor, first card in, triple swipe, disengage alarm, and auto opener privileges. The images section allows uploading up to three images per user. The card holder image is the main image and appears in the notification window for that user. The custom section displays any custom items that have been pre-configured in the system. The credential section allows adding cards, fobs, and pins for the user being created. Users can have multiple credentials. Enter the site code or facility code and card number. A pin number will be automatically generated unless unchecked. This number will be displayed after the user is created. Click Add Credential to as many cards as needed for this user. To add PIN credentials for PIN-only schedules, click the PIN-only button. PIN numbers or card and PIN combinations will only be available with a keypad reader. You can make changes or add more credentials in the edit screen after creating the user. The last section is partitions and access groups. This is where the user is associated with an access privilege group and given permissions and schedules for access to certain readers. All partitions that have permission to be seen will display their access privilege groups. Select one or multiple access privilege groups the user should belong to. If no access privilege group is available, the user must be assigned to a partition and the access privilege group can be added and selected later. Remember that a user cannot belong to two access privilege groups that have the same reader selected. Press the Create button and create the user.